Now, I wish I was one of those skaters who could just rock out of the skate park, doing kickflips, all their tricks and stuff like that, but this guy needs some warming up. And today, I'm just gonna run over sort of my common like warm up that I do at my local skate park and just anywhere that I sort of start skating. And make sure, let me know in the comments if you have a warm up at skating. And while you're down there, make sure you hit that like button and do all that YouTube jazz. Welcome back to the channel, guys. I hope you're going well, wherever you are. And today, like I mentioned, just going over like my warm up that I try and do like most times I skate because I need to get this, uh, this body flowing. So I normally require like a curb to sort of start warming up like that. But even before that, I do some static stretching, maybe a little bit of calf stretching like that, quads, hamstrings like that, because I get like from skateboarding and just sport in general, I get really tight through the calves and hamstrings. So I make sure I uh, really stretch those things and loosen them up. And that's just some really basic stuff. Some people actually don't really like to do stretching. Some people think it's bad. I like to do that little bit of stretching. It helps like lengthen the muscle out for me personally. Sometimes you can do that active stretching where it's like more like in the movement of things. But anyway, I head, I head to the curb after I do that little bit of stretching. I'll usually start with some nose stall variations to get the weight transfer going and the hips moving with the nose stall reverts as well. It's nothing really exciting, but for me it works. Especially doing the reverts like front side and back side, it works on loosening my hips up and just like sort of like gets me going in the way of like, I can sort of like, like yeah, moving my hips without moving my shoulders and just like gets, that up, uh, gets my hips loosened pretty much. After a few of them, I might throw in a nollie or a fakie shove here and there, just to like nice little simple trick there, nothing hard there, it's just using the momentum of like the, the way that you're going. And then I'll move up to some 5-0 stalls on the little taco bank -y thingy here at Knox. But I don't know why I do this, to be honest. It is more, it is fun and requires some pushing to get there. So it gets that, gets your calf muscles like activated and like the push. Like I said, it's just like, it's just a little thing that I do. Even if I find a bank somewhere of source, I'll do this. Who knows why I do them? But then I go back down and do some little slashes and all that type of little jazz through the skate park and just work on some more slappy nose stall uh, variations or just slappy nose slides. For me, it's just about getting the feel of the board and just like loosening up some muscles and joints. After that, I might stretch a little bit again if I need, like if there's a little bit of a niggle, I'm still feeling a little bit tight. But then I normally try and find myself a, like a little bit of a ledge or a curb and like start doing some 50-50s or like some fakie 50-50s. Sometimes I even hit like a front nose or something like that on a ledge because that's actually a little bit easier to get into and a little less effort to sort of like pop into and just do that front nose stall. I like starting with the basics and what I know personally. For me, it's just about getting that board feel, a bit of confidence, a bit of comfortability on the board as well because I'm not the greatest skateboarder and I'm not 16, so I can't really just dive into it and start flipping my board around and doing all the tricks that I know straight off the bat. Anyway guys, that's just a short one. It's hard to make videos at the moment with Melbourne's uh, terrible weather. It's very wet and stuff outside. So I just thought I'd put a little bit together, something small together about how I personally go about warming up. And also there's a cool down phase two. I found myself that like I find myself, if I do do a cool down, it's like, I do feel better the next day. So make sure I'm like stretching my hamstrings, stretching my calves, doing all those type of little things as well. Also, you can supp take supplements to sort of help you recover after skateboarding as well. Like I sometimes take magnesium, CBD oil works as well. You can take glu glucosamine. That's another, um, like a, it's an amino acid that helps recovery, aid recovery in muscles as well as, and stuff like that. So there's different ways you can do it, especially as an adult like myself, if you want to skateboard, skateboard longer and recover quicker, it's just like about, I'm trying personally to implement these things because I want to recover quicker. I just don't want to be feeling so bad the next day. So things like uh, warming up beforehand and cooling down afterwards are just those little things that I'm personally doing. But if you made it through this, thank you. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to leave a comment down below. Hope you have a good day wherever you are and hopefully the weather is a bit better for you where, than it is here and I'll see you guys in a new video soon. Peace.